Hey, what's up? There's a lot of different Apple computers coming out in 2020. Your guess is as good as mine, though. So I'm going to go through just some things that people are saying and take it with a grain of salt. Let's go. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of the new Apple systems in 2020. I keep saying 2019, but it's 2020. And uh, what is Apple coming out, come, you know, hopefully over the next few months? You know, there's a lot of rumors out there. And of course, I don't have a magic ball. They keep it pretty locked down. There's a lot of different sites out there that are kind of saying things about various products and what have you. So I'm going to go through some of those sites and show you what people are thinking, you know, is coming out for Apple in 2020. Don't hold me to it. I'm just trying to help the community. A lot of people go after me sometimes and they say, well, you don't have the product. You can't review it. I'm not reviewing anything. I'm just letting people know about Apple products. If you're interested in Apple products, I let people know what's out there, what's coming. Sometimes I, I, I've ordered a lot of the products, as you can see, not behind me, but <laughs> my other videos. So, but I don't always do that. I always like just to kind of do some research and just, you know, have fun, let people know what's coming and things like that. And these are just kind of wild guesses because I'm going off of what other people are saying that are a lot more, you know, in, in the know than me. So at the end of the day, stay tuned. We're going to go through a couple different systems that Apple might be coming out with and uh, let me know your thoughts if you guys have other you know other comments and things put them in the comments and uh, I guess that's about it I mean we're gonna keep this video simple so let's go in I'm gonna show you my screen some of the new things people might think are coming out and what the specs might be if you're interested in Apple stay tuned everyone needs to stay safe out there with the coronavirus but let's go ahead and try to change some things here and just kind of keep your mind off that um, so here's the, uh, this is actually from, let's see, Mac Rumors. They have some idea of what might be coming out in 2020. I'm going to go through this really quickly and then show you some individual products. Don't beat me up. This is going to be very quick, and very basic. Just, just some, you know, if you like the Apple news, you might like this. If not, then no, no real specifics are coming. But coming in early 2020, it says 2020 iPad Pro, which some of this has already been announced. Smart keyboard with trackpad. The iPhone SE 2 might be coming out early here. That's going to be the cheap phone for around $399. Um, so that's actually going to be a, a really inexpensive iPhone. Air tags are going to be uh, coming out here as well. Power Beats 4. And this is the interesting one. So it's going to be the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. And I'll get into these individually. Again, I don't have a ton of specs on them, but you know, it looks like early, the early 2020s when these might be coming out. Um, High-end headphones. Um, you know, this is just the rumor again. Small wireless charging pad. So mid 2020, I, iOS and uh, iPad iOS 14. So that's basically going to be coming out possibly. Uh, the Watch OS number seven. TV OS number 14, and then Mac OS 10.16. That might be coming out as well, and uh, that's gonna be coming around mid-2020. And then look here really quickly, it's the iPhone 12 in the fall, that's usually when they do come out, so looks like you know we're gonna experience, it might be a 5.4 inch iPhone, 6.7 inch iPhone, 6.1 inch iPhone, or possibly two 6.1s, so keep an eye open for those. Apple Watch Series 6 might be coming out in the fall as well. And then these other things are just kind of, you know, way out there. They don't know when exactly when they're going to be coming out, like the Apple TV set-top box, Mac with Apple, you know, the Apple made chip, which is where Apple, you know, Apple might be making a Mac with its own chip. So anyways, that's just the beginning, you know, really quick breakdown of everything. And I'm going to get into this in more detail here in a second. And uh, I just wanted to kind of go through what they think's coming. All right, so the first one is probably not going to happen, but it's fun to kind of think about is the new iMac. So the new iMac, this this is actually from Apple Insider. They're saying that Apple working on a radical iMac design using a single sheet of glass. Again, Apple puts out hundreds of patents every year on different things, and this is one of them. And everyone's probably seen this one. So if you kind of scroll down, it's going to be a possibly new iMac that looks kind of like this. And I'll show you some other pictures of it, like of people that have actually tried to render it. I mean, from this standpoint, it looks kind of crazy. It doesn't look that it doesn't look that nice. It looks like the keyboard's kind of integrated into the shell. Maybe it's got a charging stand that automatically charges the keyboard, but you can take the keyboard off. But it does look like it's very thin. Um, you know, this is just a patent in general. Maybe it can dock into like a, a MacBook Pro, or somehow it works by you know you can dock your MacBook Pro into this. Um, that's maybe just, you know, it acts more like a screen where this kind of slides underneath it and then basically you can, you know, it's a big screen in front of you. That would be kind of a good idea. Think about that. You take a MacBook Pro, you slide it underneath into this hole here, and then basically you can actually use the iMac that way. That would be interesting. Um, anyways, it's got this on the back of it. It's going to have some kind of a stand, and they show some different stands coming up, um, which I'll show you in a second. I mean, it, this looks kind of crazy. So, you know, th this is the pictures everyone has seen. You know, and again, this is this has been out for a little while, but it says a, sh a single pane of glass. So if you go over here, 
I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and zoom in just a touch. It's a little harder to see, but if you can see this, this looks a lot, a little bit fancier here. So this is kind of a rendering of what it might look like in black, um, and you can see that it's you know big, big screen. They don't know exactly how big yet, and it's got the keyboard built into it. Again, this doesn't have the sliding MacBook Pro. That was more my idea, but but I do think something like this might be a possibility because they they had they definitely did do a patent on it. Um, this goes ahead and talks about you know, the design that it currently has. You know, this one obviously hasn't changed for, for so long, it's kind of crazy. Um, but anyways, you get the idea. So that, that's kind of what they think it will look like. And here's another picture of it from the side. Here's the shingle plane of glass here. And it's got, this has got a little bit different stand on the back again, because it's hard to tell exactly how they're gonna make the stand, but maybe the guts are built into this. Here's the keyboard you can see built in, and it looks, you know, maybe it slides in and out. At least it would have to, you would see, you know, it seemed like that. Maybe this is a bending screen. Um, you can bend it at different various locations, you know, back or forward. Um, that would be another thing since there's so many bending screens. So anyways, that that's just, you know, a total guess. Um, and uh, you get the idea with that. The other, this just came out too as far as the, the future iMac. This says I, a future iMac may be able to extend desktop onto nearby walls. So think about that. So I, I don't know so much about the actual um, you know, iMac in general as far as what it's going to look like in this article. But if you can see behind it, it actually has the Catalina you know, OS back here. And it basically you know, puts a lot of things onto your back, your wall behind you, as you can see in this picture. Um, and it goes on, and this is another patent basically by Apple. I mean, they're doing another patent on this as well, explaining the process behind that. So without getting a lot into it, I mean, it's just kind of a, a total guess, you know, and, and things like, you know, things like that. But you just have to go with, is it a possibility? Yes. Do you think they're going to do it? No. Are we any closer to knowing exactly what it's going to be? My guess is going to be it's going to be maybe a different, you know, maybe they're going to go with a little bit bigger screen. They're going to do incremental changes on the CPU. They always have to, you know, to watch out for the Mac, uh, the iMac Pro. Um, they can't go above that in a lot of cases. So it's just one of those things you got to be careful with. All right, so for the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs, let's go ahead and talk about those. They're actually going to be coming out very, very soon, and that's going to be according. This is from CNET, but this is they're actually citing uh, Mac rumors, so it's kind of funny how these all, all these kind of people work together, including me. Um, but basically, you know, obviously the 16-inch MacBook uh, Pro came out end of last year, and they updated some things on that. But th he's saying, you know, according to uh, Ming Chai Kao Koi. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I sorry about that, but he's basically basically from Mac Rumors, where he's, it was shared by Mac Rumors on Wednesday. Apple will be updating the MacBook Pro and Air computers shortly. New laptops, according to the report, will feature more the more traditional scissor style keyboard that everyone wants, and they're going to get rid of the ill-received butterfly style that has been used on most MacBook and MacBook Air and MacBook Pro models in the last recent years. So hopefully that'll be the last time we ever see those keyboards again. And uh, the one thing that's amazing is Mac Rumors reported and. It says right here that um where is it this is mac rumors so it says new macbook air possible as early as next week well this was on the 13th so i don't know with the pandemic and things going on if it's going to you know things are going to get pushed back or anything like that but just note that if you're looking for a macbook air that could be coming very very soon so keep that in the back of you know back of your mind there as well and then he just says, you know, the same guy says that Mac Rumors expects the Pro model to have that 14 inch screen like we thought instead of the traditional 13. So he has some kind of inside information on a lot of these things. And uh, he does say a little bit about the pandemic here. He doesn't think it's going to be held up. But again, a lot of things have changed in only five days. You know, in the United States, they're shutting down almost all the restaurants and stuff. So it's one of those things we just don't know yet. But anyways, this is going to be coming out with the pros and the errors. All right, so the last one is going to be the Mac Mini, which is going to be 2020 release date, specs, and price rumors. So they do think that a, a Mac Mini might come out in 2020. Um, it's been about a year and a half since the last one. If you kind of look down here and we kind of scroll down, um, you know, they're kind of looking at, let's see, the release date here is going to be, it says maybe spring 2020, but more like the WWDC 2020. So that's maybe mid-year to maybe fall um, release date. So that's going to be the estimated release date if it does come out. And uh, it says that it, you know, maybe the same price to maybe $100 more for the unit. So they don't know a lot about it right now, and that's the problem. But they do think it's going to be coming out according to some of the rumors that are coming. And they do think basically if it does come out, let's go down to what, what they think the specs will be. So it says, you know, it might, the biggest update ever came recently in 2018. That was the last update. But um, for the new one, it says, you know, 
Let's go ahead and shut this down. But it says ninth generation Intel processors could bring eight cores to the Mac Mini. Right now, I think they can only go up to six as they have the MacBook Pro. And so that's one rumor that that's coming out with that. And then Apple could increase SSD specs across the range so that we see 256 and five gigabytes standard on the SSDs. Um, so just some, some iterations and you know, maybe the newest chips, maybe upgraded SSDs finally for Apple and, and basic things that will help people, you know, you know, maybe some different port changes as well. Um, I don't think they're bringing back the, the, the card reader, which they should. But in long story short, this is just a rumor again, and it's for 2020. And that's really all we have for today. And just to keep people interested in seeing what's maybe coming out. All right. So again, don't beat me up if it doesn't come out this way. I'm just showing you what other people think out there. If you're interested in Apple, you might be interested in this. So that's why I make these videos. Um, at the end of the day, though, it's one of those things where, you know, it's always an incremental kind of uh, changes with Apple. So. You know, it's one of those, you always have to kind of time your, your purchase because you always buy something, you know, and then the next year it's something, you know, they make some big jump or something uh, that you think that, that, you know, you should wait and then you keep waiting and waiting and the jump never comes because obviously, for instance, like the iMac, like people have been waiting for how long for the design change and we don't even know that if that's even going to happen this year, let alone, you know, they might make a couple internal changes, but I'm not so sure they're going to make, you know, a huge external change. It seems like they are, you just don't know. So. What I kind of tell people is make your purchase based on your need. You know, if you wait for Apple, you could be waiting a long time on a lot of this stuff. So, you know, they don't have a great track record with, you know, coming out with integrative new designs. I mean, every single year. So you could be waiting two, three years. Um, but this seems like a good year. So at the end of the day, like I always like saying, you know, this could be a good year. So if you wait to the end of this year, you know, you might get a good cost, not only because, you know, with, with what's going on with the world and coronavirus and things like that, you know, the market might, you know, they might need to soften some of the pricing and stuff. Um, it might take a little longer to get because of the, you know, supply chains, but anyways, you get the idea. So that's what I say. And if, you know, if you guys have any more things in the comments, just post them below. And I make videos two a week. I make them on tech, I make them on uh, PC and Mac and Apple products. And I make uh, travel videos and, and everything else, investing. So go ahead and subscribe if you can. It's gonna help me out and post, you know, hit a like button if you can. Talk to you soon. I'll see you in a couple, hopefully a couple days. Bye.